So Balmacarby Taliswoman Michelle Ryan has called time on her inter-county career after 19 years of service to the Waterford ladies football team. And uh, former Dacia manager Pat Sullivan, who was in charge of the 2015 All-Ireland Intermediate winning team, is here in La Plaza Studios in Nungarvan to pay tribute to the long-serving forward. And uh, Pat, how would you describe the influence Michelle had on that Waterford dressing room during the four years you were in charge? Uh, look, uh, I suppose the calibre of Michelle uh, and the player she was, she just had great leadership skills and, and one of the real assets she had. And I suppose, look, more importantly for Michelle, Michelle, about 19 seasons on the go, probably played against five or six different managers for him. And so the way she was able to adapt her game over the time, and especially for us in 2015, I remember back well where we were trying to play, I suppose, a, a brand of football of, of being very, very good on the ball and, and attacking at, at pace. And how Michelle fitted into that that system just shows the calibre she had. She was able to adapt her game. And even again, I was very lucky to manage her on the Interprovincials in 2019. And just to see the way she was able to play at the top level with the best backs on her. Just always know where the, where the right ball to pass. And, and more importantly, I suppose Michelle has very strong mental strength. Where if she makes a mistake in a game, she will rectify that without dropping her head. And that that's a skill and, and ability a lot of players struggle with. Mm. Off the field, Pat, was she a player that everyone else really looked up to? Yeah, she was. And and she was very well able to bring the younger girls with her and, and always have that, let's say, adapt to being a 17 and 18 year old and mix that crack in the dressing room and outside the dressing room as well, which obviously is a skill Michelle has as a person. She's so easy to get on with, so easy to work with. But more importantly, when the business need is needed, Michelle then clicks into gear and that that's a skill as I said you, you just don't have in every player mm. in, in the 2015 All-Ireland against Kildare you left her on, on the bench in, in Crow Park how difficult was it to, to make that decision Pat? Yeah I suppose for us it, it was a year that we, we had created a culture of this is all about the power of our panel and more importantly for us it was, it was not ever about getting into the 15 we had created that culture as a team and players that we wanted to make sure if you get into the 20, that's how you get into the game on the day. And if it means that you're in that starting 15, and we kind of replaced this whole culture around, oh, we have subs, we had finishers. And on that day, Michelle proved that she was a phenomenal finisher. We were three or four points up at the time when she came on, seven or eight minutes into the second half. She finished that game at 1-3, set up Aileen for a fabulous goal as well. But the way she finished the game and took control from the start when she came in, Michelle played her full All Ireland in that twenty-four or five minutes. Yeah, yeah, she she scored one three into the canal end. Was that the type of re- response you were looking for, Pat, off the bench? Yeah, most definitely. And look, we we knew deep down that Kildare wouldn't have that ability to come off the bench to do what we had. And obviously, the other players that came on on that day, every one of them improved and moved and moved again for where we needed to be. Because look, Waterford know herself, they were there in in ten and twelve, very very close on the home straight, but lost games by a point and two points. So we knew going into that game and knew that's probably from the start of the year we had to have a culture that we needed 29, 30 players on the panel but we needed every one of them every day we play a championship to fight to get into the 20 and if it was the finisher at number 20 you're the same and as important as number one. Mm, and Michelle certainly proved it that, that day Pat and in 2017 she was named uh, Munster Player of the Year you made big strides beating both uh, Kerry and Cork in Farfield was she in the form of her life that season? Yeah, most definitely. She really improved on again in 16, really adapted her game again. And 17, I think, was they're probably the two standout games, I would have said, in the four seasons I was involved in Michelle. Definitely against Kerry and most definitely against Cork. That day against Cork, she was kicking points over her shoulder, left and right. They just couldn't handle her. And all of a sudden, they hadn't set herself up, Cork, I suppose, to, to have a Michelle Ryan in that form. And she rolled back the years that day and... I know particularly remember in, in the final whistle how emotional it was for management and for players. Really that day, I think, put Waterford back on the map at senior level and Michelle was a very, very big part of that. Yeah, well, what made her such a difficult forward to pin down for opposition backs, Pat? Two things for me. One, she was very, very good to, I'd say, use her height. But height is one thing because, look, it's easy to say we're going to break that ball and we'll stop that player. But Michelle was able to vary her game where she could bring other players into it. So all of a sudden for the back, it was a tough job. Do I go with Michelle? Do I let her off? Do I try and stick her and break the... She could mix her game so much and then her vision, and as I said earlier on, her mental strength when things weren't going right, she was still able to dig deep and pull that out. Mm-hmm. And and she, she scored two goals in the relegation playoff 
against Tipperary and, and Cadden Pat I'm sure you were you were very grateful for those on that occasion Yeah and, and again that's that's the factor of Michelle big games big players stand up that was a game that obviously we put so much into four seasons and now we're facing it's a very tight call where, where water for water time as well of you're very much after coming out of intermediate you now have started yourself in senior you're on that crisp of a quarter final but you're also very close to if we don't get our act together here we're in a relegation and that's where we were that season but Michelle really, really stood up that day and, let's say, led from the front again. Two great goals, game over, job done. Yeah, and she's, and she's left Waterford in, in a great position. Uh, you know, top eight county, back in back in Division 1 as well. Uh, do you think there's a couple of years still left in her with, with Bell McCarbery? Oh, most definitely. Bell McCarbery will, will benefit from Michelle now because she can give her full time to that. She's obviously a player that looks after herself phenomenally well. She never comes back in. She comes back into a pre-season where Michelle looks like she's just left off. So that going back into a club set up now, she's going to obviously bring on the younger players phenomenally in that club as well because she'll be with him so much of her three nights and four nights a week with Intercounty. She's going to give that to Bally Mac now and I could see Michelle playing for the next five, six, seven years. No problem. Well, Pat, thanks a million for dropping into our Plaza Studios here again and uh, all the best now for 2020. No problem. Thanks, Moss.